Hello everyone, so it's the Global Money Week and the theme for this year is Plan Your Money, Plant Your Future. Now we are on the streets of Abuja and we want to find out from Nigerians what they understand by financial planning. Please come along with us. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you. Awesome, and how's your year been? Not bad. Awesome. Okay, so um, do you have any financial goal? Yes, definitely. You do, right? So what do you know or what do you understand by financial planning? Um, financial planning, first of all, you're planning towards a goal, so you have something you're trying to achieve, and then financial planning is basically just planning your funds towards it, knowing what it will cost to achieve your goal, and then planning how to get the funds, when and where you're getting it from, and how to go about the spending. Awesome, awesome. So do you plan your money? I try my best. <laughs> try your best. All right. Thank you so very much. All right. Have an amazing day. Hello Ma, how are you doing today? Well. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Alright, so basically I just want to get, you know, what you understand by financial planning. So what do you understand by financial planning? Um, it has to do with um, planning your budget and what to do and all that so you wouldn't overspend what you have. So you wouldn't overspend yes, also. This, yeah. So I want, to, I want to know, do you plan your money? Of course, if you don't, my dear, you run out of it. Like us that we, we basically I live by salary. I don't know about any other person for now. I live by salary. So I have to plan it before I'll finish what I have. Awesome, before the next awesome. Salary. So you, you budget your money, yes, you live on yes, a budget? Yes, yes. I kind of plan it, live on budget. This is what I'm getting. Like I plan for the week, the next week I plan and all that. That's what I do. So, awesome, yes. awesome. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Have That's a great all. day. Hello, Ma. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm well. Awesome. Thank God. Awesome. Yeah. So, like I already said, it's Global Money Week. I want to just find out, you know, what Nigerians understand about financial planning and how they deal with money. Okay. So, what do you understand by financial planning? Uh, financial planning is a, a a situation where you know your earnings are being budgeted. You know, the money you save is um it's kept in the place. The money that you spend is kept in the place. That's awesome. It. Yeah. Awesome. So I like what you mentioned. You mentioned budget and you mentioned this. So do you have a saving culture? Oh, yes. I have a savings culture. Yes. I awesome. So do you have an emergency fund? Yes. I have emergency funds also. Yeah. Yes. All right. That's really, really interesting. Thank you so much. Hello, you. darling. How are you today? Fine. What's your name? My name is Tehila David Ime. Tehila. Awesome. So I want to ask you very quickly, what do you, how do you manage the money that mommy and daddy gives to you? Like your pocket money, your money for lunch in school and all of that. How do you manage it? Well, how to manage is that when my mom or my dad gives me the money, I save it in my account or I put it in my piggy bank so that when I grow up, I can you know, use the money for greater things. In Interesting. So you have a piggy bank where you save your money. Yes. Wow, guys, isn't that amazing? She's got a piggy bank. All right, so that'll be all for now. Thank you so much, darling. All right, good day, sir. Good day. How are you doing today? I'm fine. All right, so it's Global Money Week, and we're just trying to find out from Nigerians how much they know about financial planning. All right, sir, so what do you understand by financial planning? Uh, my simple understanding of financial planning is being able to allocate your resources efficiently and effectively to solve the problems that you have to solve financially awesome awesome so if i may ask do you have a saving culture yes i do have a saving you culture do. yes I do. okay so do you have an emergency fund i don't have an emergency fund but my saving funds can also serve me in times of emergency because once i can get access to it i can get the problem solved Awesome, awesome. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. All right, good afternoon, sir. How are you doing good today? Afternoon. How are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. I'm okay, good so too. it's Global Money Week, and we just want to find out from Nigerians, you know, what they know about financial planning and have they been able to cope with the inflation, you know, in the economy. So, what do you know about financial planning? Want to do financial planning where there's no money? <laughs> there's nothing like financial planning. You don't plan for what you eat per day because there's no money to plan for anything. Oh. And some people will not want to take transfer. That's how crude our society is. People are not used to transfer, and the worst aspect of it is that there is no network in the first place. Wow. So we just find ourselves in a mess. Okay, but sorry. God will help us out. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so with the whole hike in price, with the whole inflation going on in the country, how have you been able to manage, you know, your money so far? Because we understand that some people still earn the same way, the same income they've been earning for a while, but there's inflation in the economy. So how have you been able to adjust with your finances to meet your immediate needs? Uh, the, the point is, if I used to take a uh, bombita and milk, I take three in one. I don't buy bomb and milk anymore. I take three in one. So I say, no, no, no. I don't buy separate anymore. So if my farm salary is two, I will only adjust it to one so that I can manage my life at home. 
Interesting. <laughs> so that's the way to live. Oh. All right, sir. Thank you so much thank for your time. It was really nice talking to you. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing today? I'm okay. All right, sir. So it's Global Money Week, and we're just trying to get in touch with Nigerians. We want to find out what they understand by financial planning. So, sir, what would you say you know about financial planning? The little that I know is that um, financial planning has to, maybe for me, it has to do with um, how I spend my income. You know, what I buy, what I earn by salary or from business, how I spend it. In other words, what do I have, how much do I want to, in a particular month, how much do I want to spend on, on food consumption, how much do I want to spend on luxuries, how much do I want to spend in my, maybe how much do I want to save, how much do I want to uh, maybe plow back by way of investment, and maybe, maybe even cash at hand. Oh, also, also, that's really interesting. So you've mentioned savings, investment, and all of that. So you, do you have a structured saving culture? I think about me personally, yes, or you personally, no, no, do you have a saving culture. Uh, savings culture um, is desirable by me. If I have it, <laughs> I will have it. Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm very fine, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank okay. you. Awesome, awesome. So, sir, I'm, go I'm just going to ask you very quickly: Do you earn salary? I do, by you God's do. grace. Yes. Awesome. So, how do you um, how do you manage how do you plan your funds? How do you manage your money? Yes, I manage my money to the best knowledge I have about money. Before money comes, I have a plan, a budget, how it should be spent. And uh, I follow it judiciously, even though there could be in and out. But before money comes, there should be a plan, and I follow it to the letter. Awesome, awesome. So he just said he has a plan and he also has a budget. So I'm going to ask you very quickly, how much of your percentage, the percentage of your income goes into saving and all of that? How do you rationalize your, your, your finance? Thank you very much. First of all, 10% go for tithing, which we all know. And then no matter what happens, 10% goes for investment. Every other thing follows. Awesome. Capital awesome. and other overhead and other things follow. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, guys, he says 10% goes to Titan and 10% to savings and every other thing follows. Thank you so much. Sir. It's been really interesting talking to you. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Have an amazing day. So, guys, on the Global Money Week Street Talk is a wrap. For the final lap of this conversation, join our YouTube live session on Monday the 27th, 7 p.m. West African time. Also, do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms at MoneyWise International. Bye for now. Thank you.